Did you serve in the military? In effort to honor our soldiers, Seabar Dentistry is partnering with Megagen Implants to give you a special deal for this holiday season. $24.99 for implant, abutment, and crown. Almost a 50% off the customary price, plus 20% off other services. Have insurance? No problem. We work great with all PPO insurances. Offer good till end of December. Call now, 561-318-8762. Happy holidays. I got something important wrong. I got something important really wrong. I didn't understand that back then, the full impact that stocks were having on the black and Latino communities. I was totally focused on saving lives. However, today, I want you to re- know that I realized back then I was wrong, and I'm sorry. Come on, come on, come on, come on, now touch me, baby. Can't, Can't you see that I am not Thank you on the Bernie and Sid Show. Hurt everywhere. On the 77 WABC app, you heard Mike Bloomberg there embarrassing himself, uh, pandering with an apology. I mean, he, I mean a, a complete and total 180. He was dead certain that what stop and frisk was the right thing to do. He was saving lives. And now, not so much. Now he's running for president. So compromising all his principles. Anyway, to talk about that right now on the line with us is celebrity defense attorney, our good friend Joseph Takapina. Good morning to you, Joseph. Good morning, boys. Hey, now. Are you in uh, New York? You back? New York. All right. Yeah. New York. I, I was in Venice. was in Venice when the floods were were ravaging. It was insane. I mean, I've never seen anything like that. Oh, yeah. That's a, that's, really. a, that's a terrible story there. I mean, huge issues with that. Huge. Yeah. Yeah. No, I was I was up, up into the waste and water. It was in, insane. And But forget me and forget the people. I mean, it's the artifacts and the art and yeah. the things that... In Venice, that you know, you just really have to worry about. But and the res- really, a- the residents as well, Joe, because uh, oh. they they're really despondent. People are taking selfies, you know, while their their whole city is is just getting ruined. It's terrible. Yeah, I, I saw some people. I mean, it really just makes you wonder what what goes through people's heads these days. I mean, you saw people taking selfies while while people behind them were were trying to salvage what right. left them. Yeah, it's awful. So anyway, Joseph Takapino, welcome back. And let's get to, uh, be, we've got a couple of issues to discuss with you, but the first one is uh, Mike Bloomberg, stop and frisk. I mean, uh, he swore to God he was saving lives. It's the right thing to do. It has nothing to do with racism or saving uh, young kids and uh, old ladies from getting shot in the streets. And that's why we did it. That's the only reason why we did it. I know some people were inconvenienced, but uh, we were saving lives. I think we lost you. Yeah, we did. But uh, it was a good setup because you're right. He did say that. <laughs> and we played the audio from 2013 a couple of times already today. But he has, uh, he's gone the other way in the race for the presidency. He is, uh, he's apologized well, now for that. I'll tell you what. While we wait for Joseph Takapina, let's play the audio of him in 2013 saying the exact opposite of what he said yesterday at that Brooklyn church in front of all those black people. Listen. Today, we have fewer guns, fewer shootings, and fewer homicides. In fact, murders are 50% below the level they were 12 years ago when we came into office, something no one thought possible back then. There is just no question that Stop, Question, Frisk has saved countless lives. And we know that most of those lives saved based on the statistics, have been black and Hispanic young men. So there you go. That was him then. And to hear him yesterday, just a mealy mouth uh, pandering, it's just, uh, I don't know, people, when they run for office, it just seems to be a, a thing they do. They compromise their principles and just lower themselves. I mean, he's not going to get elected president, but his legacy is not going to be what we uh, thought. Anyway, Joseph is back with us. Joseph. Uh, Big Verizon fan. Big Verizon fan I am. Yeah. I, I, listen, I can't, I can't tell you. I got rid of my Verizon years ago because just for that reason. Anyway, Joseph Takapina, there you have it. Stop and frisk, Bloomberg, flip-flop, apologies, running for president. What do you think? Yeah, you know, I, I think that he could have saved himself the apology if he just listened to the officers on the street. Um, you know, when this first was imposed, you know, in the early 2000s, uh, that quota-driven emphasis on stop street stop was, was really polluting the relationship between cops and the communities. And, and I think what he's doing now is getting ready for a presidential run. 
and the timing's obvious. I mean, you know, let, let, let's see what that really means. I mean, his apology's a little hollow, and it's not being well-received, by the way, by anybody, by either side, no. by the police union, by, forget the Blasio, but the Blasio, by even Reverend Trufton, who he called, said, you know, look, he called, it was an apology, but let's see if it's more than words or a political, you know, a political um, motivated statement. So we'll see. No, it clearly, we don't have to see. It's clearly the latter, the politically motivated statement. So, well, listen, Joe Tacopino, I was just talking about the good old days of me, you, George Small, and Bruce Charrett going from Bedford Avenue to Decker Heights to uh, go to Polly, which this time of year has the nicest Christmas decorations still in Bay Ridge. But uh, the president, uh, somebody you talk about on this show quite a bit with Bernie, in fact, you guys have a nice back and forth. Uh, one of his boys had a rough week last week, talking specifically about Roger Stone. What do you think about the way that deal ended up last week? Look, it was a very quick and unanimous jury verdict. I mean, you know, I, I look, he was convicted of, of seven counts in a federal indictment of lying to lawmakers about WikiLeaks, WikiLeaks and uh, WikiLeaks, uh, the, 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 the website to try and get information about the leaked, um, you know, Clinton emails, for tampering with witnesses, for obstructing justice during the House Intelligence Committee probe. Um, and, and certainly it highlighted sort of, how eager he was and Trump campaign associates were to gather information about hacked emails damaging Hillary Clinton. Um, but look, the bottom line is he was convicted by a jury, a jury of the community, of his peers. He can't, this is, there weren't a bunch of Democratic senators on the jury. It was just a jury. So it's a, it, look, it's, it's you know, Paul Manford. I mean, the, the numbers are piling up. I mean, you know, being a friend or an associate of Donald Trump's is dangerous, apparently. Well, so, yes, you know, it was, when you have a, uh, a a witch hunt that's tracking that people hunt. down, and, and, and he was convicted, you know the difference, of process crimes versus substance. It was all process that had nothing to do with the actual substance of Trump-Russia collusion and uh, and actually getting dirt mm-hmm. on the from the DNC and WikiLeaks. It had to do with process. Well, and by the, no, it had to do with lying to Congress. Con- yes, that's right. That's a process crime. You know that. Yeah. That's that's but that's a lie. That's a person. That's right. And, and so did lie. McCabe a lie. So did Comey. So did a whole bunch of people uh, lie. Right. That's what. And Trump none did. of them were charged. There was conviction. He attacked the jury again and and said, "What about Trump? What about I mean, what about Clinton? What about McCabe? What exactly. About yes. Okay. That's exactly. But instead of focusing on what has happened and understanding that there are people being prosecuted and investigated by independent federal prosecutors, look, the Southern District of New York. The, the prosecutor appointed by President Trump has indicted his former and convicted his former lawyer. And in that indictment, they named Trump as co-conspirator number one. I mean, he's co-conspirator number one in a federal Southern District indictment. I mean, Bernie, look, you don't have to go and, 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 and try and spin that. It is what it is. What look, is it? Scary. I'm not happy. What is look, it? What do you mean Trump it is what it is? He's president. It is what it is. He's been accused by federal prosecutors as being a co-conspirator to, in federal crimes. Yeah, he didn't do it. They didn't charge him with a damn thing. Nothing. They didn't if they could, they would. Office. Bernie, read, did, you read the, did you read the guilty plea of Michael Cohen and the federal prosecutor's statements? It had, to, it, it had to do with He's, his lying and, and, and also with the taxi no, no, no. medallions. It had, to do with his, it had to do with the payments made to Stormy Daniels. We know what this was all about. But it had to do, Trump is listed as a co-conspirator by federal prosecutors in the Southern District of New York. Bernie, let that swivel around your head for a little bit. He was listed as a, he's named, named as a co-conspirator in court documents. Yes, because he was the beneficiary, but he had, he had plausible deniability because no, no, no. Cohen was they a fixer. Him if they thought he had plausible deniability. He's named as, a, as committing federal crimes. He is named and listed as co-conspirator number one. All right. right. It's a guy's private I mean, that, sex life. Take it easy. Let's see what happens. Let's go to uh, uh, let's go to Jeffrey Epstein. I remember you were on with me right after uh, the whole Epstein thing, and you said, "Let me tell you." It was a very, very uh, big statement. Let me tell you something, Sid. Anybody, anybody who knows and God forbid is friendly with Jeffrey Epstein is going to rue the day when that was the case. Two part question. First of all. I don't remember what your stand. If, 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 if you really think Jeff Epstein killed himself, you're a moron. I, I, no other way to put it. He, he was definitely murdered. I don't care what you tell me. He was murdered. <laughs> and secondly, I'm a moron. No, not you. I'm saying anybody out there, not you. You're not a moron. You're a genius. Well, wait a second. <laughs> if he thinks that, he's he, he's under your classification. Oh, wait, did you think that you, you think Epstein killed himself? 
I do. I do think. Oh, so. Joseph, yeah, come I, on, I, I'm Joe. Sorry. I'm sorry to disappoint. How, how many? How many? How many of these medical doctors uh, have to? The Michael Baton said, "There's no way he killed himself. His brother, his, his attorney. I mean, everybody he didn't kill himself." There was an autopsy done. That's the one I'll stick with. Not the, no, the autopsy, autopsy by Michael Baton. No, the autopsy by Michael Baton said he killed him. He didn't kill himself. Well. Well, well, listen to me. Listen, he didn't say that. He said it's not consistent. It's <laughs> well, not impossible or impossible. Well, neither was your your, 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 your first one was, was not, was not uh, 100% either. Well, listen to me. I don't think that someone in a federal jail killed this guy because there's no evidence of anything happening other than him putting a rope around his neck. It's all... So you think it was all coincidence that the, 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 the guys that watched the jail that night all of a sudden weren't there, and the videos weren't on all of a sudden that night, and all these things are just all coincidence? He was prepared. You know, he prepared his will, right? He was talking about things like, you know, passing on his, to his heirs his assets and things like that days before. I mean, you generally don't do that. When, when, when you're, you're thinking you're going to live for a long time. Okay, fair enough. Look, to me, to me, I think he just realized he was dead. Okay. He was being convicted. He was a, a pariah. And honestly, if I were him, I'd rather be dead than alive anyway. Oh, true. Now, but did you see Prince Andrew's um, interview? Oh. What do you oh. think about that? <laughs> that's, why, that's why sometimes you just be quiet. I mean, sometimes <laughs> you just be quiet. I mean, he went on there against the advice of all his true advisors and made himself look ridiculous um now you know well people were seriously on the bubble i think with him as far as look you know people make accusations all of a sudden 20 years later is coming out right i mean there's reasons you could poke I, if i were representing him i could poke plenty of holes in those accusations but when you go on and say things like well it can't be me because i don't sweat and i'm not a huggy feely sort I mean, come on. Well, just I mean, listen. Ridiculous. And then, of course, that opened the floodgates to pictures of him sweating all over right. a woman coming out. Right, right. No, no, he's guilty you know? as hell. I mean, but listen, that adds it's, it's more credence to the, the, idea, the notion that he did not commit suicide because dead men tell no tales. And you say he was a dead man. Look, Sammy the Bull Gravano was a dead man, but he had a lot of tales to tell. And he told them and he became a free man. And Epstein may have been hanging his hat on that when he was killed. It's a possibility. Just putting it out there. Bernie, no, Bernie, you're right. You're right. But here's the thing. Gravano was a mobster. He was a mob guy. And, and, you know, I mean, you know, they all hide behind some merger thing, but most of them get out of jail by riding on others. Jeffrey Epstein, no prosecutor in their right mind was making a deal with Jeffrey Epstein to give him leniency because he was the chief molester of all these children. So he was never going to get one of those deals. He was never going to be someone who they gave leniency to to come out and, and you know give the, the jailhouse keys to if he yeah. ratted out other people who he arranged you know right. events with. Well, and that's true. I'm, no, that's true. That I'm sure happen. glad yeah. he killed himself. I'll tell you that right <laughs> yeah. now. <laughs> that guy. <laughs> hey, uh, Todd, great job as always. Really, that was tremendous today. Thank you so much. We love you. Thank you. Okay, Thank you, Joe. Boys. All okay, right. The guys. great uh, the great famed defense attorney, Joe Takapina. More of Bernie and Sid right after this.